Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing a question that comes up 50 to 70 times a month, and honestly, I'm losing track of how many times I'm getting asked this. And that is, how do I convert my stepper's ounce inch rating to horsepower? Now, this is a very good question, and it has a lot of different reasonings behind why you'd want to do that. Typically, it's asked by engineers uh, looking to complete a project we may be collaborating on, and they want to provide their client uh, a horsepower rating because again it's a cleaner more acceptable form in the US to say horsepower and again it just gets away from that scientific measuring matrix of either Newton meters or ounce inches so let's jump right in to, to doing this and I'll show you just how easy it is right now I'm gonna put links of course uh, in the description of the video to convertunits.com and in this instance we're going from ounce inches to newton meters now ounce inches of course is what's typically seen in the u.s as far as stall torque ratings on most steppers uh, if you have newton meters on your engineering drawing it's very simple just google search uh, newton meters to ounce inches and you'll come up with a calculator for that as well in my instance i'm going to use one of my 600 ounce steppers because i get asked about this a lot you know what's the what's the torque rating on your stepper just how strong is it okay well let's see 600 ounce inches we're going to convert it it's 4.23 newton meters now let's see what that converts into actual horsepower now over here on electrical4u.net there's a torque uh, newton meters to horsepower conversion calculator now in order to do this calculation you have to enter torque in <clears throat> excuse me uh, enter torque into newton meters enter speed in rpm and the result power is in horsepower and the result in power in kilowatts now this is super interesting to see because again we've already seen my 600 ounce motor at 100 kilohertz running on a g540 uh, hitting 3000 rpm okay now what's interesting is that of course steppers depreciate torque the faster they go and that's absolutely true but this is going to give you an idea of just how strong a stepper would be at a more acceptable rpm and we'll just adjust it down so once again we're at 4.23 and we're going to come over here to enter speed and rpm and we'll just arbitrarily we'll say about 1500 and the reason i'm saying that is that's cutting it in half realistically at 100 kilohertz one third of 100 kilohertz would be 33.33 and again uh that's that's getting close i mean i say i say about half of that you'd still be at 50 kilohertz easily on most systems um depending upon how fast your rapids do you want to be if you're using a g540 so i'm just i'm just arbitrarily throwing this out there again depending on your drive everything is varied uh also depending on your power supply but in general uh, I get asked the question, you know, what RPM is acceptable on most steppers? Most steppers easily achieve 1,500 RPM. I mean, very easily. Let's calculate. You guys are looking at over three-quarters of a horsepower at that RPM, okay, which is really, really impressive. Now, will the torque be acceptable at that RPM? Yes. You will easily be acceptable at that RPM. And what's interesting is if we were to change this again to 2000, which is only a 500 RPM increase, look at the difference in horsepower. I get told all the time, man, your steppers are strong. I can't hold them with my fingers. Now you know why. So when you see that, and even if we reduce this down, let's say 500 RPM, which would be ridiculously slow, you can see now where we're dropping everything down because again the result in horsepower is naturally going to be associated with the RPM achieved okay similar to what we see with a uh, spindle motor uh, spindle motors in our characteristics I'm talking about an HY spindle motor not what you'd see on a Bridgeport mill where again where we're dealing with a lower RPM higher torque motor our spindle motors typically are going to be generating their horsepower at the higher end of the power band okay as the RPM increases that's what's going to generate more horsepower but overall you can see here just how rpm plays such a huge role in what we're actually doing once again at 1500 we'll calculate and you can see 0.89 and let's say at 3000 if we were at 3000 rpm like i did in that demonstration if you were getting full motor torque where would you be 1.78 horsepower 
at 3,000 RPM running 4.23 Newton meters, equivalent to 600 ounce inches. So again, very impressive, very impressive ratings. Even if you're not even close to running full motor torque, I think it's safe to assume that many guys would see just how strong that is. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. And again, even looking at the kilowatts uh, rating, 1.32, it's nothing to sneeze at. So again, very cool calculations uh, to streamline. And you guys are going to use this in a later video when I start showing you um, options with steppers that really haven't been seen before. And I plan on doing that to connect everything together. But again, very, very interesting information for those guys doing designs, want to do quick calculations. And again, uh, to actually uh, spoon feed some client information so that, again, it's in a more usable, acceptable format of what we typically see. You can see just how easy this is. So again, I will put links in the video description so you guys will be set. I hope that the video has been helpful. I know it's going to bring up more questions. I, I realize that. Please forward all your questions to storm2313 at gmail.com. That is my direct email. You can also message me through my eDealer Direct store on eBay. I'll have links in the beginning of the video and at the end. Thank you all for your support.